and what you wrote in the end really, really resonated with me. So choose any four. Can you tell us a bit about that? What are the four and why can you choose all of them? Because it sounds too good to be true. I have to think back to the, what the four were now. <laughs> oh, Small, vault, fast, oh, yeah. reliable, and globally distributed. How can you have oh, all sure. four? That's just not possible. Yeah. So, I mean, I think, you know, the first three are kind of uh, SQLite's kind of mantra of, you know, keep it fast, small, and, um, you know, easy. And then mm -hmm. the globally distributed part, you know, the way that I think about it is like, the thing that I like about SQLite is that it's almost like a a nice building block for a distributed mm -hmm. system. Like it has a lot of really cool stuff built into it. It just kind of needs that, like, you know, all those fun little distributed systems, algorithms that kind of distribute and merge and, you know, control data and the flow yeah. of all that stuff. If you can kind of shim that in underneath it um, and do it as invisibly as possible, then, you know, for a lot of applications, it really works well where you don't have, mm -hmm. you, you know, you can have a, Obviously, it depends on restrictions you have for your database. Like, if you need a ton of concurrency or write concurrency specifically, then you know there can be trade-offs with SQLite. Uh, but there's other ways to get around that as well. 